Hey, so guys came in here again and welcome back to the train sale YouTube channel uh, We are starting 2023 off with another shiny hunting guide So we got a comment on one of the last ones asking if we can do breloom So for the last day and a bit I've been searching for a breloom slash shroomish spawn Well, I think I've found one So we'll head over to it now So the location you want to be, you want to open up your map and go to the bottom right of the map Where the uh, the grass wither shrine is You're then looking for this tree here, so you'll see the, the lake uh, the spiral, it's like this tree here. You can shiny hunt him all the way around here. This is shroomish, should I say, rather than breloom. Uh, but I'll show you how to evolve it afterwards as well. So if you fly to the shrine, then that's the closest position to get to the location we want to be. So shroomish is a kind of a hard of a spawn to, to do. It's not as easy as some of the ones I've done where you're getting 15, 20 spawns of one type. Uh, but shroomish does spawn in shaded areas like this under the tree and at the bottom of cliff faces. I can do this guide any time of the day, but I found during the night time is best. So as you can see, it's night time now. So once you get to this location, you want to save your game to save your ingredients just in case you do not get the shiny first time around. But once you've done that, we need to make the sandwich for grass power. So to do that, we're going to use the same as always, one pickle, one cucumber. But then you need three portions of lettuce and two herb mysticas. I will leave the uh, recipe on screen because not all herb mysticas work together when using this recipe. This sandwich is a little bit harder to make just because how big the lettuce is, so make sure to take your time. You do need to get every piece of ingredient on the sandwich or you will not get the encounter boost, you'll get something else. So once that's done, your sandwich should look something chaotic like this. Once that's done, you're then looking for the sparkling power and encounter power level 3 for the grass, which we've got. So once you've done that, you can head out of your picnic and start shiny hunting for 30 minutes. As you can see already, there's other stuff spawn here, which they do. This isn't an isolated method. It is the best location I've found to get shroomish. As you can see, they are spawning all around here. You will find them in the open, but they will run towards the shade, as they don't like direct sunlight on this game. So yeah, what I do is I tend just to go from that tree to this tree. Just cover all the ground, you'll see the Eevee spawn there. I did end up getting the shroomish within about five minutes, so I'd say I'm really lucky at this because I do believe this will take you a few sandwiches to do, just because you're not getting the crazy number of spawns. But again, you are getting enough, so just make sure to take your time, be patient, and you will get the shiny. You don't have to stay in this area. In fact, you can cycle around the whole of, of this area here, and they will spawn all the way around here. They'll be the same everywhere, so look under your trees in your dark areas. If you're unsure on what the colour of sh shiny shroomish is, uh, it's basically the colour it is now, but rather than the green circles, they are orange. But as you can see, during night, you do in fact get a lot of spawns. So as always, we hope this shiny hunting guide has been useful to you. Best of luck in your shroomish hunts. Just be patient. This isn't the uh, the easiest Pokemon to shiny hunt. But if you're patient and take your time, you will find one. And if you're super lucky like me, you'll find one within your first sandwich. If there's any other Pokemon you'd like us to try and find a guide on, leave it in the comments and we'll try and do that next time. Until then, we'll see you later. There you go. Shiny Shroomish. That was quite quick. About 10 minutes, I think. And I said in the video as well, I says, you'll not find them in the open because they don't like the, uh, the sunlight. Well, it's daytime and in the open. So it just proves you can still do it then, but you are better off doing it at night.